Hello guys, Giorgio Beloso here. Thanks for stopping by to check out this video uh, very quickly. I'm gonna show you guys how we can properly uh, render some wireframe inside uh, 3ds Max using R Node. So it's gonna be a quick video and uh, let's get started. So first thing first, you wanna make sure that you are uh, using Arnold render you could do that by going to rendering uh, render setup or you could eat f10 and uh, just get the uh, active shade and uh, change your renderer to Arnold I'm just gonna hit M on my keyboard I'm gonna come here and type in here wireframe or you could go to utilities uh, and get it from there so I just like to type uh, wireframe and yeah so this is the wireframe uh, node uh, it doesn't have so much you know anything special other than just buttons uh, yeah so I'm gonna go to uh, utility and get map to material and then map to material i'm gonna connect these uh map to material into texture uh just gonna name this uh wireframe well just gonna see what we have here well here's the thing guys uh the problem right now is that if we change the age type to uh to polygons it doesn't work so this has been an issue with uh, uh the wireframe node inside uh our node for 3ds max it has been a, a serious issue like when you change to uh patches or it only it only renders triangles so i've tried everything but I managed to uh, find out, come up with something uh, that seems to be working, and I'm going to show you that. Like right now, if we apply the uh, if we apply the texture to uh, let's just go ahead and apply the texture to the chamfer and the spindle. Just go and then assign material to selection and then uh, let's try to render and see what we have here well as you can see when we render this it doesn't seem to be like rendering because we only need the edges we don't need the uh, we don't need these triangles and in this tutorial we're going to fix that so what to do is just select select every object or each object go to uh, go to the modifier list and then uh, apply the uh, Arnold property modifier and then inside the subdivision you want to enable the subdivision and just leave everything as it is and then just render again well there you go from from this to this so we just do the same with the uh, the other objects just go ahead and apply the uh, Arnold property modifier and then uh, enable the subdivision so here we go okay guys so this was a short tutorial I hope this problem has been solved and uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment and uh, like this video and uh, yeah this is helping me to uh, to grow and have uh, so many Arnold uh, tutorials coming up on the way so just make sure you subscribe and uh, thank you so much and I'll see you next time